<laughs> good day, good day. How the heck are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, how are you doing? Yes. This is the channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. And we are doing the series uh, that you can find on the playlist. Every model made by a toy manufacturer. And uh, I have kind of broken these up into different groups. Like uh, I've done Hot Wheels and Matchbox. And I did like 164 scale or smaller. And then I did a large scale, okay? So that's what this is. This is part two. We are doing part two to the, uh, let's see if we got a bigger picture of it here. Malibu International LTD. Yes, sirree. We did the uh, last week, Monday, we did the uh, 187th scale. And uh, we, we'll tag that uh, at the end there. But today we are doing the 143rd, 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 <laughs> 143rd scale. Now, um, I, I'm, there's only two of them. Um, I have, um, I believe I have two of the, two each of these, uh, but there's only two variants. Uh, and uh, man, I'm hoping, I am praying that. Uh, uh, out of the woodwork, somebody will come over to Roverland. That's over there on the Facebook page, Roverland over there. And they will come and tell me, Dan, you are wrong. I'm hoping and praying that somebody tells me that I am wrong. But as far as I know, the Malibu International LTD 143rd scale, they only made the range the Land Rover Range Rover Sport model and they only made it in this gray and they only made it in this silver um, very very nice I uh, got a lot of compliments uh, from a lot of people didn't know about Malibu International uh, I have that in uh, the playlist uh, other models now these came out in 07 uh, and they were through Walmart uh, uh, Malibu International's kind of was um, bed buddies with Walmart and uh, and stuff like that. So it, it, it wasn't really a Walmart brand, but it was. And it was manufactured by High Speed Metal Plastic. So I, I'm not really sure the relationship there because, you know, Walt, you know, Walt, Walmart, Sam Walmart died. And so I can't call him up and ask him, hey, what happened here? But anyway, <laughs> anyway, as far as I know, and please let me know, I've scoured the internet and eBay, the Google, to find another, um, another Land Rover that in the 143rd scale by Malibu International. All I have found was the Range Rover Sport. Now on the 87th, uh, if you don't want to go back and watch that video, on the 87th scale, they do a range, a full blown Range Rover, not the Sport. And, uh, and others, the Disco 3 and the Freelander. So they, they do quite a few more uh, colors and models in the 187th scale, okay? But as far as I know, this is it for um, the Malibu Internationals or for 143rd scale. And these are very, very nice. I thought I had one of these open, but I don't, and and I'm, I, I'm not really going to. I'm sorry, I know it's horrible. But they are very, very well detailed. They have, um, we can focus in there a little bit. I, this is a wonderful camera, but sometimes it just doesn't want to do what I want it to do. But uh, Range Rover on the back tailgate, uh, insert lights. Uh, there is some paint on those uh, tail lights, but they're, they are uh, plastic inserts on them. Uh, yeah, it's very, very nice. Now, uh, these do not uh, appear to have any opening parts or anything like that as well. These are just solid uh, plastic base. Uh, I am assuming with a metal die cast top uh, body, you know, but uh, no moving parts. Looks like that uh, closed cabin all the way around. 
but uh, very, very nicely detailed, uh, even in the 143rd scale. Uh, lens inserts, again, for the, uh, the uh, headlights, but very, very nice. Let's take a look at the dark one, see if that it shows up a little bit better. Um, but really, really kind. I don't know what they call those underneath the door there. Uh, dorsal fins, dor dorsal dorsal fins. I don't know. <laughs> I like them though. They're they're aerodynamic, something to keep the car on the road. I don't know. But it looks like they use the same the same black interior, uh, and they just colored the outside a little bit different. It would have been nice. Uh, this is a Range Rover Sport. Sorry, I'm really making your guys' eyes work here, but working the camera. It would have really been nice. They could have made that um, the badge on the uh, grill black because uh, mostly the Range Rovers uh, do have a black badge. I'm not sure what the uh, 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 rule of thumb is, what gets a green badge and what gets a black badge, but uh, somebody could probably tell me in the comments down below. That's something that I don't, the trivia of Land Rovers that I do not know. Uh, when that started and what denotes getting a black um, a black badge versus red red. Now that third third light is painted on there, so that's pretty nice. But it's got sunroof in there. But yeah, they both have the same same black interior and uh, same sunroof. So it's uh, very very nice. Um, because this is the only two, and I'm not gonna bore you with uh you know 10 minutes of just talking about those this one model that is in two colors uh, the other thing that i want to show you and it and it has nothing to do with <laughs> has nothing to do with uh, uh malibu internationals it's this all-stars range rover sport so we're talking about the same model uh and large scale now this is like 124 scale and uh, or 118 scale, excuse me, 118 scale. But this is uh, rare, I guess. Um, and let me tip this upside down so we can get that hood open again. But this one had an opening hood. Look at that gold and chrome pieces in there. Very, very nicely done. Now this has got these uh, really huge, um, crazy wheels on it, but uh, the doors open. Very nice two-tone interior, but this is uh, by Maisto. This is the only large die-cast um, Land Rover that Maisto makes in a large die-cast. So I thought because these were both Range Rovers sports, I would put them together. And uh, so yeah, just kind of show you this one here. It's a bonus little bonus but this came out at the same time 2007 as well as the uh, the the, the uh, uh, Malibu International so yeah they everybody was on board on 2007 and 2005 and and like now see they come back now everybody is doing up a uh, Land Rovers now uh, series uh, defenders you know so uh, yeah it comes and goes now uh, the um, Hot Wheels has done, done the Velar, you know, and um, and then Matchbox has done uh, the Vogue, you know, uh, new stuff, Range Rovers. So there is some still Range Rover stuff going on out there. But, uh, yeah, uh, go over to eBay. There, you might be able to find this All-Stars Maisto on eBay. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's I mean, plastic base. You know, and, and it's got interior, I, I wish I could show you. Look at the exhaust, you can kind of see there's exhaust under there. Look at, you know, there's two piece wheels and then there's calipers and brakes. I did a whole video on this before, um, but metal body, so it's very, very heavy. But yeah, these call for premium price. Uh, I think there's like two or three different colors, just very limited colors, but uh, totally awesome. So there you go, that's, uh, Every model made by a manufacturer, we had two in, a bonus one from Maisto, but uh, mainly the International, uh, Malibu International. So there you go. All right, that's it. I'm your friend Dano. I'm out of here. Thank you for joining me. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover Day.